subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to automate AWS, Amazon Web Services, tasks using Bato3, the AWS SDK for Python. We'll focus on Lambda functions, which allow you to run code without provisioning or managing servers. With Bato3 and Lambda, you can automate various AWS services, such as EC2, S3, DynamoDB, and more. First, you need to install the Bato3 library. Bato3 will allow us to interact with AWS services programmatically from our Python code. We'll create a simple Lambda function that interacts with an S3 bucket. This function will list all objects in a specified S3 bucket. Replace your underscore bucket underscore name with the name of your S3 bucket. After deploying your Lambda function, you can test it within the Lambda console. You should see the list of object keys printed in the console. You can trigger Lambda functions using various AWS services like S3 events, SNS notifications, API gateway requests, etc. For example, you can configure your Lambda function to trigger whenever a new object is uploaded to your S3 bucket. Now, whenever a new object is uploaded to your specified S3 bucket, your Lambda function will automatically execute. In this tutorial, you've learned how to automate AWS tasks using Bato3 and Lambda functions. You can extend this knowledge to interact with other AWS services and perform more complex automation tasks. Experiment with different AWS services and Bato3 functionalities to streamline your AWS, Amazon Web Services, provides a robust set of cloud computing services, and automating tasks in AWS can significantly enhance efficiency. Bato3, the official Python SDK for AWS, allows developers to interact with AWS services programmatically. Combining Bato3 with AWS Lambda functions enables powerful automation workflows. In this tutorial, we will explore how to automate AWS tasks using Bato3 and Lambda functions. AWS account, ensure that you have an AWS account. If not, sign up for one here. AWS CLI installation, install the AWS CLI by following the instructions here. Bato3 installation, install the Bato3 library using pip. AWS Lambda role, create an IAM role with Lambda execution permissions. Note the role ARN for later use. Configure your AWS credentials using the AWS CLI. Enter your AWS access key ID, secret access key, default region, and output format. Open the AWS Lambda console, AWS Lambda console. Click on create function. Choose author from scratch. Provide a name for your function, choose a runtime, example Python 3.8, and select the IAM role created in the prerequisites. Click on create function. Write a simple Lambda function code that lists all S3 buckets in your AWS account. Replace the your underscore role underscore ARN with the actual IAM role ARN created earlier. Save the Lambda function code. In the Lambda console, click on deploy to deploy the function. In the Lambda console, click on the test button. Create a new test event or use a sample event. Click on test to execute the Lambda function. Now, let's create a Python script using Bato3 to invoke the Lambda function programmatically. Replace your underscore lambda underscore function underscore name with the actual name of your lambda function. Congratulations! You've successfully automated AWS tasks using Bato3 and lambda functions. This tutorial covered setting up AWS credentials, creating a lambda function, writing lambda function code, deploying the function, and invoking it using Bato3. 
explore the Bado 3 documentation for more advanced automation possibilities. AWS, Amazon Web Services, provides a wide range of cloud services that allow businesses to scale and manage their infrastructure efficiently. Bado 3 is the official Python SDK for AWS, enabling developers to interact with AWS services programmatically. In this tutorial, we will explore how to automate AWS tasks using Bado 3 and Lambda functions. AWS account, ensure you have an AWS account set up. You can create one here. AWS CLI and credentials, install the AWS CLI and configure it with your AWS credentials. You can install the AWS CLI by following the instructions here. Python and Bado 3, make sure you have Python installed on your local machine. Install Bado 3 by running the command pip install Bado 3. Before we start with Lambda functions, let's set up Bado 3 on your local machine. Open a new Python script, example AWS underscore automation dot py, in your favorite text editor or IDE. Import the Bado 3 library at the beginning of your script. Configure the AWS credentials and region. Now, you are ready to use Bado 3 to interact with AWS services. Let's create a basic Lambda function using Bado 3. For this example, we'll create a function that lists all S3 buckets. Add the following code to your AWS underscore automation dot py script. Save the script. Now, let's deploy the Lambda function to AWS. Open a terminal and navigate to the directory containing your script. Use the AWS CLI to create the Lambda function. Replace your underscore execution underscore role underscore ARN with the ARN of the IAM role with Lambda execution permissions. Invoke the Lambda function. This will execute the Lambda function and save the output to output.txt. Congratulations! You've successfully created a Lambda function using Bado 3 for AWS automation. This tutorial provides a starting point, and you can further enhance and extend your automation tasks based on your specific requirements. ChatGPT